Hello everyone. In the previous video, we learned that how we can uh, submit the form and get the values in the controller. So now the time is to uh, edit this request and we are going to create our custom request and validate our user. So first understand that why we need this validation. So let's go here in the previous video, we created this form and let's click on this submit without filling this form. And yes, it's submitted and our form return null and description is also null. So this will create problem for us. So we are going to prevent this uh, form. Uh, user can't fill uh, them blank. User can't do uh, them blank. So we are going to uh, validate the user that if the user is uh, filled these fields, then it's going to submit the form. So you can also validate them from the client validations, but uh, the server validations are mandatory because it's uh, uh, going to prevent your systems uh, from any exception right so let's go here and uh, create this so php artisan we are going to create the request custom request uh, make request and you can type this to do's in the to do's you can type this request or you can simply say that it's a to do's request so if you have multiple requests so you can make the separate folder and then type create request and update request but i have only one request so i'm not going to use this uh, twice because i'm doing this for demonstration purposes so hit enter and uh, i need to make this singular but it's created so let's go here and uh, first uh, let me go to the request and here first delete it and make this singular because you need to follow the laravel convention okay it's deleted so let's go here and again uh, type with without s and it's going to create and yes it's created so open this here so it's first uh, there is two methods the first checking the authorize so if user is authorized or not and then it's going to follow this rule so we need to enable this so how we can enable this make this true right and then we need to go here in the rules property and here we need to define our forms name attribute so let's go to the create and here we assign this a name of title so we need to define title and then here you need to specify your validation so we are going to assign is a required so required mean it's a mandatory to fill this input field and then I'm going to make this string so user can enter the string and then I'm going to make this description which is the second input text area name and here I'm going to type this required right and then this would be also a string and then one more validation it should be a minimum minimum five values and then I'm going to also assign the maximum so maximum values would be the 500 right save this one and uh, close this request and go to the to do's controller and here we are going to accept this to do request type on this and it will add at the top and it's added okay so now it's first validating the user and then it's going to submit this form so let's go here and for now it's not going to display any uh, error uh, and because we did not uh, uh, catching the exception so let's uh, uh, printing the exception not <laughs> we are catching the exception so click on this submit so it will redirect us back on this page yes it's redirected back why it's redirecting back because it's checking that this form is uh, form input fields are empty so we are not uh, i'm not going to send this form so here you need to display the laravel error so let's go here and search laravel any error page well any error and then you can get this uh, uh, you can catch the all of the errors by using this laravel by default laravel catcher okay so copy this stuff so it's used for catching all of the uh, errors right so add this at the top similar as you copied so here so let me rentate it it's this one so you don't need to do anything it will also uh, it will automatically check that if there is any error so it's going to uh, first to catch uh, it's uh, having a collection so that's why it's uh, making this singular and then printing this single one by list item 
so click on this submit so now it's going to display as error and yes now it says that title field is required description field is required so it means that now we are catching the exception and printing the uh, user that uh, now user can understand that this fields are required so if i uh, type this here like uh, uh, i entered the two values and submit this and if i take this so now it will not throw this title uh, error it will throw this description but the, the description is not required it's a minimum requirement so minimum should be five okay now it's showing that description must be at least five character because we define in the request that minimum should be five character and maximum should be 500 so now the time is to submit our form so let me go to the controller and here uh, we are checking that uh, our form is uh, filled or not so here if you want to uh, uh, create this through like uh, create and then you are going to pass all attributes so you need to first validate your request but if you are going to use this through custom one you don't need to do this i will uh, explain this both ones so uh, let me uh, shoot this in the i will uh, i think it's uh, this video is about validation so in the next video we are going to build this uh, uh, we are going to store our to do's into the database. So I will meet you in the next one. Thank you for watching and subscribe the YouTube channel. Bye bye.